Continuing our discussion with working with files and using bash, I want to talk a little bit about uh, bash variables and constants. Uh, the difference really just being that variables change and constants don't. So this idea here, I'm um, officially declaring uh, my variables. So I'm saying um, I'm declaring uh, x equals 1. I could also do something where I could make that into a constant where I say read only x equals 1 and I'm not allowed to change that that variable. I could also declare dash read x equals 1. Um, and in this case here too I'm declaring an array name. So I could say declare dash a for array and then uh, an array name variable. So this is just a, a formalized way of declaring uh, variables and constants in Bash. Um, here are some just examples of uh, strings in Bash. So it's a, it's a little bit strange when you first set the variable, you don't use the, the dollar sign or string indicator. So in this example, I'm saying my name equals strong quote Todd, and then I'm going to say print formatted the variable my name. So that would print out Todd. I could also say echo soft quote hello there variable and soft quote. So these are just some examples of using um, some strings. You can address uh, the entire string by saying things like um, the getting the length of the string with the uh, pound sign and the curly braces. So if I had a variable called variable name or my name, I could get the length by saying string, curly brace, pound, variable name. You could even go a step further and set another variable equal to the length. So I could say the character length of uh, my name and by using the string curly brace pound uh, would give me the length of or number of characters in my name, which would be four. Looking at arrays now, uh, officially declaring the array, declare array, and then I'm gonna say my array is called names. And my array, also remember that arrays start at element number zero. So I would say element number zero uh, of the names array equals hatter names element one equals Alice, names element two equals cat. The shortcut would be to say that names equals and then use your parentheses, Hatter, Alice, and cat. They both have the exact same effect. You can read uh, data into an array by using the command read array. So in this example, I'm reading the array. Um, I'm using the array called my array name variable and I'm using the standard input and I'm reading from a string variable file name that I've set earlier. So this would just be a way of reading everything into an array from a file. Um, you can use, uh, if you want to access a single element from an array, you could use something as simple as echo and now I'm going to be using the curly brace to address the array. So I'm going to say echo string array name and then the element variable. You could also use the at symbol or splat symbol to echo all the values out of the array. So it's a very simple way of just echoing everything in the array. Um, you can also use, again, the pound or hash symbol to get the length. So if I wanted to know how many names were in the array, I would say the number equals variable curly brace for array hash for length array name and then the element at symbol to address all values. So that would that's effectively giving me the length of the array and setting it equal to the, the number um, variable. Another way of doing it is also just using the for x in list. 
So in this example, I'm saying for X in all variables or all values of the name array, names array, um, do something. So for a person in names, the entire array with the, the, the at symbol, do, and it will actually echo each individual person out on the screen. Another uh, built-in feature with uh, bash is the random feature. Uh, normally random gives you a 0 to 32767 and if you wanted something shorter like you wanted the variable um, 0 through 9 you would you say I want random mod 10 uh, that would give you 0 through 9. If you wanted 1 through 10 you could just say uh, random mod 10 plus 1. Talking about just uh, some conditional loops here uh, in Bash, let's talk about the if loop. Uh, this is if some test then do something else, do something else. So in Bash, it's just important to remember that when you start your if loop, you have to end it with a backwards if, which is fee. So if some test then do something, else do something else and then end your your list so <coughs> excuse me in this example if testing variable equals one then echo variable equals one else echo variable not equal to one and it's just a very simple example of an if uh, condition statement uh, if you want to do like a, a counting uh, for loop uh, for you know x1 to 10 uh, there's a, a shortcut in bash you just say for x colon equals 1 to 10 do and then do whatever it is that you want to do 10 times in this example I'm just echoing the variable x to the screen the longhand way I, I think it's a little more readable is I'm saying for x starting at 1 is your starting point your endpoint is when it's less than or equal to 10, and your increment is plus 1 uh, with, the, with the plus plus shortcut. So that's saying starting at 1, less than or equal to 10, incrementing by 1 at a time, uh, echoing to the screen. One of my favorite loops that I like to use is, again, the 4x in list. Um, there's a really handy version where you could say for output in Linux command. Um, so if you're doing the 4x in list, you could say 4x in, say, like ls-al, which list all in long is your Linux command. What this will do is for every line in the output of that command, do echoing the output. So you could, in your script, actually work on each individual output of the Linux command ls at a time. Um, you can also do, as another example, 4x in 1 through 10, that being your list, um, do echoing, uh, the again, the, the x on the screen. Bash also has the while and until loops. So you can do while a condition is true, do something, you can also do a until a condition becomes true, do something. So you could say um, while x is less than or equal to 10, do something. Uh, just make sure that you actually increment your x, otherwise it'll never stop. Um, you could also say until x becomes less than 10, uh, and then just you would make sure that you're decrementing your x. Uh, I think we talked about this a little bit. We were talking about uh, reading lines from a file. Uh, you can do things like putting the while in your reading lines. So you could say while reading lines from a file, um, do something until you're done. Just make sure, again, you end your do with a done. So while read line, do something, echo um, the, the line that you just read done and then you're reading that whole thing from the variable with that's an actual file name of a file on the system 
Uh, these are just examples of how you can actually run a bash script that's on your system. Uh, you could say bash, which would uh, start another bash shell with the input of your bash script name. You can source the bash script name. And then of course you can also change the script to be executable and then just run directly uh, with a dot slash bash script or, or whatever your script name is.